SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we're going to be talking about the new iPhones, the iPhone 15 generation of devices. You got yourself the 15, you have a 15 Plus, and then you have a 15 Pro and a 15 Pro Max. And I'm not going to look at anything crazy with respect to the features or, you know, some of the, the, the specs, with, you know, like camera systems and all that. We're just going to focus on cellular in this video. I'll do some other content. We'll cover more on these phones in coming videos but let's just focus on the big four carriers the website has all the cellular bands we'll talk about the wi-fi too and we'll see if this generation of phones is modern right compared to their android counterparts and like you know things like the galaxy flagships and uh, pixel phones all right so let's take a look and see what the iphone is all about this generation all right, now, before I get going with this video, please do like and share. And at any time, you want to throw in a comment or two. You know, looking forward to see what you guys have to say on this. And of course, if you appreciate the channel and enjoy the content, you could support us. There's ways to do it. Links are in the description. All right, so we've got three carriers named here at the top. No mention of Dish. Trust me, this phone will be supported by Dish. I'll cover that here. I'm going to talk about the bands that the phone supports. So um, we'll cover all four carriers. AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Dish. All right, so let's start first with AT&T. It looks like everything with respect to all four models of the phones, all the same for cellular and Wi-Fi. Uh, when it comes to AT&T, it looks like all things are there, all things LTE, all things 5G, including uh, N14, right? So first net and such. N30, right? So making that transition to the NR side, looks like that's in tow as well as N29. Uh, but that's pretty much it. The rest of it's all pretty standard. It's been on the phones, so nothing new there. You got the full millimeter wave support for the AT&T network with N260. They're 39 gigahertz. I think that's what they typically broadcast. All right, all the LTE is there, uh, so nothing really changed. Uh, the only thing I think we want to know about the AT&T network with respect to these new iPhones is how good the antennas are and the performance between the N77 c-band and dod aggregation right we want to see how that performs we want to see how that plays okay so uh and then of course with those multiple you know carriers and our channels you know are we going to see a three carrier aggregation set up this year four carrier and that goes for all carriers like with respect to t-mobile verizon at&t and even dish we want to see the nr take the next step right that's going to be on a standalone network core though Right, so at and is going to have to leap. Verizon's going to have to leap. You know, T-Mobile has already done this. Dish is a native 5G standalone network, right? So all that's kind of in play. We'll see how that plays out. All right, next is Verizon. And we have all things Verizon in tow, all things LTE and 5G. The big thing for Verizon, obviously, is the C-band, the N77. It is there. No mention of N13, folks. So don't expect Verizon's legendary Slowpoke Band 13 to, <laughs> to find its way to the NR side, at least not anytime soon, because it's not on this phone. So I wouldn't expect it for at least another five years, at least maybe longer. Uh, Band 13 is going to be on LT for a while. All right. Uh, I do see N48 mentioned, so expect the CBRS move to NR very soon, maybe as early as next year, you know, 2024. Uh, all things millimeter wave are there. I see, you know, the, the bands that Verizon supports, N260, N261. And uh, I think, yeah, N N258 as well is there. All right. And I don't, I don't know if they're nationwide on that or if they're even using it. I'm not sure. But we're all good there. All right. So with Verizon, right, we're going to look at the millimeter wave antennas. Uh, we're going to be watching the C-band aggregation of the 100 megahertz plus uh, the additional 40, 60, 80, or additional 100 megahertz of C-band right two channels NR, and we'll see how their three carrier aggregation NR plays out, as well as four carrier potentially, if this phone can do it. And, you know, that's really a Qualcomm situation, right? If it can do the four carrier aggregation, you know, we'll find out uh, once we start testing. Okay, now moving on to the T-Mobile side of things, all bands LTE and 5G are there. I don't see N262 mentioned here, and the reason why that might matter to some folks is because the 47 gigahertz frequency that some carriers have, like T-Mobile, 
we still don't even have the radio here, right, to put on like tower sites and small cells. So that's not on this phone, so that must mean they're still not close there. All right, so maybe maybe another generation of iPhones, maybe the 16 might have it, but it's not there now. Uh, obviously, the big thing here for T-Mobile is going to be, you know, four carrier aggregation for this network, uh, N71, N25, N41, two channels, right? And who knows, they start integrating N77. They have some C-band and DOD across the country, right? So... And, and do they do they mess with N48 finally? I don't know. Anyways, that's what we want. we're probably going to be looking for. Obviously, we want to see if this phone enhances uplink maybe on N41 because it's it leaves a lot to be desired at distance and range. So we'll see if that improves. But we'll see. We'll see. It's, it should be a good phone on AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. Uh, last one, last but not least, Dish. All right, so N71, N29, N66, N70... N77 and N48. So you got those carriers are all there, those channels. Uh, now with respect to their millimeter wave, which we haven't really seen them build yet. Uh, Dish has N258, N260, and N262 in certain places. Uh, the only one supported there that that I think works for Dish might be the N258. I think mentioned there. Uh, if they have that frequency, I'm not even sure if they do. I, I think they also have that 47 gigahertz band, which again, I, I don't see them building, uh, and it's not on the phone, so I don't know. Nothing really to get excited about there with respect to Dish, with the exception of it supporting the proper AWS configuration with N66 and N70, and then the big thing there is going to be voice over NR, right? So, um, you know, as long as that's there. We should be golden uh, voice over NR on their standalone 5G core. And, uh, you know, the voice over NR piece goes the same for the other big three carriers, too. You know, the iPhone finally being able to do it and the, the, the networks being ready for it. Now, all these phones are going to be eSIM only, no physical SIM tray. Uh, they come with SOS emergency and uh, satellite roadside. And one thing I wanted to just quickly discuss is going to be the Wi-Fi still trailing industry worst all right so uh obviously you get your sub six gigahertz 5g the millimeter wave it is four by four mimo so that's cool i guess uh not much changing there gigabit lte and stuff no no carriers doing gigabit lte verizon came close with cbrs but never put enough spectrum to it nor was that band even on four by four mimo you know so um I don't know, LA and all that. Like, that's cool. Band 46, blah, blah, blah. But really where I'm kind of aggravated is that the Wi-Fi performance continues to be a laggard. Finally, we get Wi-Fi 6. The next generation of Android is probably going to be Wi-Fi 7 enabled. We're still on 2x2 two two MIMO for Wi-Fi. That's that's aggravating. If you ever ran a speed test on, like, a, a gigabit connection on, like, a home network, you'll see that the Wi-Fi on, like, an, an iPhone, you'll get, like, 600 megabits down. But an Android, you know, that has it, has the, has the the 4x4 MIMO, you know, you're going to get like 900, you know, and stuff like that. So it's kind of aggravating. Bluetooth got an upgrade. Ultra wideband uh, chip gets an upgrade. All right. So some of that stuff. But ugh, man, so annoying. I, I really don't like that about the iPhones. Literally, if you buy an iPhone, you are just punting Wi-Fi, right? Which sucks because there's such... You know, great upgrades happening in Wi-Fi all the time, and the iPhone is always one step behind the competition. And historically, we have seen the Galaxy S series flips and folds do better when it comes to antenna performance and throughput performance on cellular too. So we'll see if that's the case, but we're just going to have to wait to get the phones and do some testing. I'm probably going to get a 15 Pro I don't know if I want to get a Pro Max. I might. You know, the bigger battery seems enticing. Better camera system. You know, titanium or whatever in the Pro models. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Uh, but the cost on the Pro, I think, is a thousand still. The Pro Max is coming in at eleven ninety nine. Uh, the so um, and then the the storage on the Pro comes in at one hundred twenty eight gig entry, and it's two fifty six on the entry for the Pro Max. So that two hundred dollar cost difference. You know, the size of the phone, obviously, and all the, the, the bill of materials along with the storage upgrade. Uh, I think the regular 15 is coming in at 799 
and I think the 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 15 plus coming in at 899 just to give you guys the pricing deals at the carriers you guys know they'll do trade-ins depending on the plan you have with T-Mobile Verizon and AT&T you might get a certain deal you know so it might be worth it to look at that I think I'm going to keep my 14 Pro Max right and I'm just going to add another iPhone to my lineup uh I think that's how I'm going to work I think that's what I'm going to do um and then I'll probably put all my testing line profiles on the new iPhone and do all the testing that way. I'll probably keep a Verizon line on the 14 Pro Max. And uh, then we got the Pixel lineup coming and we'll have all our phones for the year, I suppose. All right, so tell me, what do you guys think of the cellular and the Wi-Fi on this phone or these phones? Uh, who are you guys going to, well, I guess I should ask who's going to upgrade to these phones? You know, should you get this phone for cellular purposes coming out of a 14? Maybe not. Probably not. Uh, should you come up from a 13 to this phone for cellular purposes? Maybe not either. Uh, possibly a 12. A 12 probably makes more sense. Uh, AT&T, because you're not getting DOD, right? That that kind of, the 12 and the 13, it might be worth it to upgrade, right? Uh, if you're in an LT-only device, it might be time to upgrade. I'd say it's worthy of an upgrade. Don't forget, you're getting battery improvements with the new phones. You're getting display improvements, camera system improvements, especially if you're talking about an iPhone 11 or older, right? So that's definitely worth it. So maybe not a 13, maybe not a 14. You might be on a three-year plan, installment plan. You know, you might still be paying off your 13 or your 12. But if you're an 11, you're probably paid off and... You know, maybe you could swing it. I know these phones are expensive. You might be financing through Apple. You might be trading with a carrier. It just depends on the deals. Uh, maybe we'll do that on Friday on the podcast and talk about it more. Uh, but I just wanted to share this with you guys, kind of go over the bands. Uh, my expectations is that, you know, from an RF standpoint, from a cellular performance standpoint, I think the antenna systems, I think the cellular modem, I think things are going to be just fine. Maybe the galaxies are better, right? This upcoming generation of galaxies. They usually are one step ahead. But the iPhone should be more than adequate with respect to cellular. Wi-Fi, still trash. Still on that BS bullshit with Apple. <laughs> Anyways, tell me what you like and what you don't like if you're going to upgrade. And tell me why. What are you coming out of? And which carrier you're going to use it on? Comment down below. You're all the voice of the people. The SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.